What up, you guys? It's your girl, Chantel, the prototype. And get ready with me while I lounge in lingerie and tell y'all story time because I really want y'all to tell me if I'm wrong or not. Stay tuned. <laughs> If you don't already, go ahead and smash the subscribe button. If you want to see full-length videos of my Get Ready With Me, follow me over on Patreon for toy demos, Let's Talk About, and much, much more. Y'all know I just got out the gym, first of all. I'm going to go ahead and take this off and flaunt my sexy, y'all, because your girl been shooting in the gym. And I just want to show y'all what you know the fall has done for me first of all that's what i want to tell y'all first before we get into anything so definitely subscribe if you think this body is bodying for summer 2024 because that's what i've been shooting in the gym and y'all see them abs they peeking y'all see them it's only gonna get better it's only going to get better but back to the story now i want y'all to tell me is this why i'm single is this why I'm going through the things that I'm going through right now when it comes to dating and everything? Because they're dropping like flies over here with me. And I try my best, but I guess my best is not good enough. I just took my car to get washed. And I ran into this guy that I think I was supposed to be dating, but he kind of disappeared on me. And then I didn't hear from him again. But I didn't reach out. And so we like kind of lost contact. Either way, we stopped communicating, and I just ran into him at the car wash. And um, so I was like, yo, you know, what happened? He's like, well, you were just too busy for me. Too busy. Hold on. Okay, I'm back. I had to take a shower and moisturize. Y'all see me? I'm glistening. I like glistening. But anyway, back to the story. I had to wash his scent off me because I did give him a hug, and I smelled like him until I came home, and I had to get that up off me. So... I am a ask me and I will tell kind of person. Don't assume anything because that only makes an ass out of you, not me situation. So his explanation for why he stopped reaching out was because when he asked me about my life and what I did for a living, I told him, you know, I'm a mother of four, you know, X, Y, and Z. Um, I'm a business owner. I do this. I do this. I do this. And from his perspective, he thought my schedule was too busy for him to even fit in. But he assumed that. He didn't ask me. He never asked me out on a date. We only had a text message and phone conversation. So he never asked me on a date to understand or know whether I was available or not to even deal with him or go on a date with him. So that's strike one for me. Like, don't assume anything that you really want to know the answer to. Ask me. And like I said, follow us on Patreon and all podcast streaming platforms. That's Lounging in Lingerie and Toy Bar. Guys, come have a drink, a cocktail, put on your sexy lingerie or loungewear and grab you a seat on the couch and let's talk. So, yeah, follow us on there for the full review of the sexy piece of lingerie. And um, like I said, drop your comments down below to tell me if I'm tripping. Yeah, I'm probably not, but have at it, y'all. Till next time, peace.